What's up guys? Video number two. As you can tell, you're in my bathroom. I'm not gonna give you the whole tour of the bathroom because if you don't know what a bathroom looks like, then I don't know why you're watching my videos. But this video today, as I said in my first video, is strictly about the routine to get to this. I'm not saying I'm fly, I'm not saying I'm all that. All I am saying is that I do feel pretty confident. So let's take a look through my routine. I'm gonna flip the camera around here and I'm gonna go through the products I use one by one. First, we have the Axe Phillips Norelco trimmer. This trims in the lines on my beard here. And then I use the buzzer, as I call it, to pick up the stubble. This is a wall ear and nose trimmer, which has trimmed many parts of me. Um, it's nice, it's convenient. I'll show you guys. It's uh, nice and small. Gets the job done, though. All right. And then when we're done, we use the Axe Chilled Cooling Face Wash. Gets my skin all nice and clean. We also have the Equate, which is the Walmart brand Daily Acne Control Cleanser. As some of you know already, because of one of the medications I'm on, the, one of the side effects is chronic back knee, as I call it, um, or cystic acne that generally takes up the span of my back and sometimes spreads to other regions. Let me turn the camera around again real quick. This is the long and short shower care routine right here. Lather, rinse, repeat, condition, and while the conditioner is in, scrub a dub dub with the Irish Spring. Next we have the Axe brand chilled shaving cream and aftershave. Um, definitely smell good, they feel good, they do chill the skin uh, better than any aftershave I've ever used. Um, I do use the Axe brand sensitive skin razor for the first swipe and then what surprises most people is that I take just a nice cheap dollar store blade here and then I go against the grain to get that uber smooth feeling. What some people don't believe is that I actually do shave all the way up. This line right here, the hair doesn't stop. There are days when I literally have to take the skin, stretch it tight and go down. For stubborn unibrows or sometimes I get super thick ones along here. I have my trim brand tweezers also available at Walmart. They're about five bucks a pair unless you find them cheaper online. These are an older pair that I have. These are the Revlon slant tip. I prefer slant tip, tip excuse me, slant tip um, because I personally, for reasons that don't matter, uh, from time to time tweeze the inside of my ears so I don't get that old man ear hair thing and the slant tips just work better um, let me flip the camera around again this by the way guys when you're gonna wash your beard I don't care if you have thin or thick hair get a comb like this comes in a 12 pack of combs from the Dollar Tree and this is the best comb I've ever owned the short and long combination here picks out all of the dead crusty gross beard hairs and makes it get just that extra smooth feeling when you shampoo and condition it speaking of extra smooth we have the target brand up and up baby powder aloe and vitamin E as you can see there are different baby powders men's powders talc powders this is the cleanest least offensive smelling one I've seen um, I've been using it for a very long time and in summer months I can go through three or four of them let me move the soap here and I don't know about you guys but different days different outfits require different kinds of deodorant these two here are 96 hour protection these are the wet ooh, excuse me wet clear deodorants this is the Right Guard 48 Hour Sport Fresh. Um, that is the dry, chalky deodorant, if you will. 
Um, black shirts, white shirts. That's how you avoid streaks. We also have the Old Spice Swagger deodorant. It's not an antiperspirant, but when you just want to smell nice, it does the job. Being a big fan of Axe, I also have the All Day Fresh Essence Spray. Just a spritz on the front and a spritz in the back gets the job done. For tooth care, right now I am suffering from some toothache issues, so I've picked up the Walmart brand Oragel. Super jelly, so do not just squirt this in your mouth, otherwise you'll end up eating it. We have Ultra Bright Toothpaste, Plackers Floss things, gotta have an electric toothbrush. Me, I prefer not to have expensive. This is Colgate brand. Gets the job done. Sometimes doesn't want to turn off. So I have the tongue scraper and extra toothbrush for just when you want to get that much more clean. Uh, I've tried many mouthwashes. Uh, I find that this one has the least offensive flavor and least amount of burn. Alright. Now, Hair care. I also use this on the beard, and most exclusively the beard. This is OGX Argan Oil of Morocco, penetrating oil. Put some on your hands, you rub it in, blow dry, and trust me, guys, nothing gets the beard smoother than that. Just trying this one new. It's been a long time since I've used mousse. This is the Suave firm control. Now if your hair is anything like mine, firm control doesn't mean jack. But we're trying it. Uh, from time to time, it, like today for example, I did have to throw a little extra gel in it. Um, and for that, I used a, just a fingerful of the Axe Spiking Gel. It does get your hair a little crunchy as you'd call it, but it holds which is the important thing. I'm not one of those guys that runs his fingers through his hair anyways, so I don't mind a little crunch. When I keep my hair shorter, uh, my favorite hair product has got to be the American True Forming Cream, uh, which smells great, feels great, and with the right, right amount of moisture in your hair, will hold without the crunch, and again, it smells delightful. As you guys can see here, I have various combs and brushes. This is most exclusively, this is a dollar store brush right here. Uh, my favorite brush though, works for both hair and beard, though this is exclusively for the beard. These two combs, I can alternate between hair and beard, both for both. This one though, nice and sturdy. This is not a dollar store, this is about a five dollar comb. And as you see, this is also the long and short bristle version. And then again, just various brushes. Um, sometimes you want a light touch, sometimes you want a heavy touch. Um, last but not least, I don't care guys, get you a blow dryer. The beard and your hair, and especially if you're like me and you're just a woolly mammoth, nothing comes in handy more than a blow dryer. It cuts drying time to about 55% of what it would be normally. And unless you have one of those industrial blowers like they have car washes, it's going to be the only thing that works. So that, my guys, is the rundown. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will eventually open up for direct messages and such. Thanks for watching.